What's up guys? I just want to say thank you for all the love on the last video. I didn't think anyone would really give a fuck about why I moved out of LA, why I live in Oregon now, and it means a lot. I asked for you guys to drop 3k likes on that video and I'll drop a house tour. And we got like 4k likes. So, as requested, here's my house tour. Last video I asked for 3k likes to drop a house tour. I've just realized I haven't showed anything around this area besides my fucking house. Maybe if we get another 3k likes and another 500 comments, I'll make like a day in the life like showing what it's like around the town, what it's like living in a small beach town. The lifestyle here is so different. I f and I feel like a lot of you guys might find that interesting. Way different than LA. Before we get into that though, I need to tidy this place up a little bit. If I'm gonna make this house tour video, I'm gonna have to clean some shit up. These dishes have been sitting here for a little too long and that's not the first impression I want you guys to have of this house. Yeah. All right, let's turn some lights on in here. Place is cleaned up enough. Well, I just wanna give you guys a forewarning. This house is very, very small. I wish I had some crazy big house to show. I'm really trying to find ways to make this interesting, but this house is fucking tiny, fellas. So when you walk in the door, you're immediately in the kitchen. Just your standard kitchen that, you know, you saw me clean. But I must say that it is pretty cool because they have this view right above the sink. You walk into the living room and that's, that's kind of it. The view is nuts though. It's kind of blown out, but the view is nuts. You turn to the left and here's my bedroom. It's just one bed, no TV, just a mirror. <laughs> There's a little stand here where I put my water when I go to bed. Guys, I know it's it's a lot to take in. There's a, it's a lot of, lot of rooms. <laughs> Let me show you the one other room in the house. The bathroom, right there. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, that, that, that's kind of it. Listen to me when I'm talking, you taking that other advice. My way of sending the messages, leave you on red, no reply. My favorite part of the story is when they start feeding you lies. All of that head, yeah. But this is literally all I need. The intention of me coming to Oregon was not to live some crazy luxurious lifestyle. It was purely to to get right. I sit here every single day and just grind on my computer from the moment I wake up till I shit you not like five in the morning. This is the daily view. Got whiskey right here. Got my laptop. I usually have some movie playing. But if you didn't already know, I just dropped a new 1340 collection. It's called To The Stars. And the whole meaning behind it is that some people do whatever it takes to see the stars, make their dreams come true, whether that be legal or not. So that theme has inspired me to make four different pieces. One being a Vegas sign, two being a long sleeve shirt, skeletons playing poker, talking about how you need to bet on yourself. The third one is a 1340 casino, which is a really sick hoodie. I think it's fucking fire. And the last one, is an MLM pyramid scheme t-shirt. I, I kind of just made this one for fun for myself because I thought it was funny. I feel like a lot of 1340 fans are people who <laughs> would find that type of shit funny. But yeah, if you guys want to cop, let me know. Instagram tried banning my fucking account because I've been getting so many messages about 1340 drops. I've been replying very quickly and I don't use a bot. I don't know how many times I need to fucking explain this. I just can type very, very fucking fast. And especially when I'm sitting here on the couch for 10 hours straight just replying to DMs and watching movies. I see why it might think it's a bot, but it's literally me replying. They tried banning my shit. So I made a second Instagram called fuck you, it's Justin. If you guys want to drop a follow on that in case they fuck my shit up. Anyone that follows that account that's watching this video right now and wants to cop the new collection, shoot me a DM and I'll give you a friends and family discount just because you watched the video. Pretty dope. Look at how cute this dog is. Hi baby. You want to go outside? The view when you walk outside of the house is just insanity, man. Like, holy shit. And then, right when you walk out here, there's steps right there that go straight down when to the I beach. Fall, will you catch me? Or just let me hit my side? When I cry, and don't forget me. Shit, bring me closer, time. I'll be alright. Okay. For the past few days here in town, it's just been fucking thunderstorming like crazy, man. Last night, I was up at like 3 in the morning, and the house just started shaking, and the entire power went out in the house, which went pitch black. Kind of fucking scared. I'm not gonna lie. Okay with you. I'll stay with you. I will. I'll be alright. I'll stay for you. 
I'll pray for you. I will. I hope this video is long enough. I know it's kind of a little on the shorter side because it's not really much to show. The rest of the video, I'm just going to show some sick, sick cinematics. Whiskey's loving it out here. Look at that. <laughs> Inside of Hi, let's go upstairs. I also just realized it's like 5 p.m. and I've yet to eat my first meal. Maybe that's how I'll end the video. Me cooking. <laughs> Call me fucking Susha Lee, fellas. Presentation is a solid zero out of 10. Actual cooking is probably also a zero out of 10. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like and a comment. 3K likes, and I'll make like a day in the life around this town. And like I said earlier, if you want to cop this 1340, it'd mean a lot. It helps support the channel, helps support the dream. I'll see you guys, hopefully, when I make this day in the life. Facts now. Peace. 1340 on me, homie. I don't do no bait. No. Liquor in my debit card, the only thing.